Hi, I'm Alice. Welcome to Dalivana. This is the final in my line of sugar-coated reviews, so I bet you can guess who I've saved for last. It's the Gingerbread House doll with playset. Now, I am the kind of person who buys a lot of playsets. I'm kind of a sucker for the playsets. But also, I think this is a really pretty Gingerbread House doll, so I really just couldn't resist. And, and besides, it has all the bakery things. So here she is in the box, and on the back of the box you get another view of how the playset lays out. Again, I'll put a bigger picture of this at the end for you. The sides of the box have ginger, and you have some actual scenes from the episode. Now I should say, I think one of the reasons that I love this line so much is that I actually do really love baking myself. So, and I always adored Hansel and Gretel as a fairy tale. When are they gonna bring us the Hansel and Gretel dolls? That's what I wanna know. But anyway, time to get Ginger out of the box. I've just paused in the unboxing to show you how easy this is to get out. Here's the back of the box. It just lifts up and there you have everything inside, which I think will make it very good for storage as well. Except that of course, I have to take all of these things back to England with me, so I'll probably have to flatten the box if I want to keep it. And here's Ginger, out of the box. Let's see if I can get her face into focus for you. And she is very pretty. She has a little chef's hat and a cute ponytail. I will probably take the other rubber band out of this ponytail, but this is how it comes out of the box. Again, her hair is very soft, there doesn't seem to be any gel in it at all, it's very nice. Here's her dress. Now, I will just say, even though she comes in a playset box, her oven mitt had two of those stupid plastic ties through it. So, not so well done there. But the oven mitt, again, it's really cool. It's a squishy plastic, it fits her hand really well. She also comes holding a wooden spoon. You can see it there. And she comes with a ring and a bracelet. No necklace, but insanely cute gingerbread man earrings. I really hope that's in focus for you there. They are so cute. And of course, she does have her glasses, which come in with the playset bits in the box. So I'll just get her to model those. We want to argue with her chef's hat headband a little bit here. It may not be comfortable for her to wear both at once. I usually take the headbands off anyway, even though they come plastic tabbed on. There we go. I've just left them on for the review. I think I'll probably end up taking her chef's hat headband off and leaving her with the cute glasses. You can see her dress again. It's very adorable. Are you in focus there? She has two layers of fabric on the sleeves and a really elaborate cute print going on, a separate belt, and how her shoes, which I've been hiding, her shoes are fantastic. Her shoes rival cedars, I think, in this line. They're very cool. Now she does not come with a stand because she comes with a playset. I'm not going to fully assemble the playset that she comes with because there are some big pieces in it and the instructions have snap once or one time snap. Let me just put Ginger down for a moment. So with the playset you get the instruction sheet and you can see inside it says one time snap so I think because I'm gonna have to pack these things up and take them back to the UK with me I won't put them all together for you yet so I'll do another review when I get to the UK of the fully set up playset on my table there which will be better anyway 
but I will show you a few things. It comes with this cute easel with instructions for gingerbread house making. And it comes, of course, with a very cute gingerbread house. This is the one you could see in the front with ginger. And then it also comes with several more little little cupcakes. This is oh, this is not easy to show you. Several more little cupcakes, which in my next review where I do the whole playset, you'll get a better picture. It comes with a number of little teeny cooking utensils. And of course the cauldron that appears in the front with ginger. And a chair, which she can sit in so she doesn't come with a stand. Also this bench, which looks like one of those wafer cookies. Now I do actually like the cookie that this looks like, but I think the bench is kind of a phenomenally ugly piece of furniture. I don't know, maybe I can manage to paint it. It will come in handy for storing the little pieces in, which is always good. But it just doesn't seem to match the aesthetic of the rest of the playset. Which, if you contrast that... Now this is one of my favorite pieces. Again, I haven't really put it together. It will have, it will have a chimney coming out of the top, which I don't want to snap in quite yet. And it has a little secret compartment in the back. And this front bit, this also opens, this little cool transparent blue front bit. And you can see, it's really elaborate. It has all this gold filigree work. It has little lollipop peppermint things. It, there's a gingerbread man back here. And now, now this, I mean, Really, it just looks like they sort of ran out of invention when it came to the bench, doesn't it? There's also this piece, which again, it's it's a once-only snap, so I'm not going to put it together until I get it home. But again, it's got filigree, it's got gingerbread men, it's got a little cooktop. Oh, and this... This bit has a little removable fire that sits in it. i just put that in for you. I mean, these are just so elaborate. I love them. So I, I'm, I'm afraid the bench may get consigned to the cupboard, but the rest of the playset is gorgeous, and, and Ginger herself is insanely gorgeous. So there's the Ginger Bread House playset. And I will do another review of that when I get everything back to the UK. But meanwhile, let's just do a little comparison of the four dolls. Now, Cedar, I couldn't really get Cedar into her stand because her elaborate belt is too thick. But she, she definitely has, I think, the, the best shoes and I think quite possibly the best dress. We'll give a we'll give a little comparison here. So these two, kind of unexpectedly, are my my favorite of this line. There if I hold them. And then you can have a little farewell appearance from Holly and Maddie who do fit in their stands. So let me know which doll's your favorite. I really enjoy all of this line. I think they're one of the best lines that's come out. I really cannot decide which of these two, they're clearly going to be best friends, is my favorite. Until next time, bye.